Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Today we are going to do a pillow cover. Now to do a pillow cover, we're going to use about half yard of fabric. You can use any color you wish. I'm going to use a cotton fabric because they are kind of soft to sleep on. And usually cotton fabric pillowcases are really better than any other kind. So I have here two half yards of fabric all together, one yard, so I can make two pillows. As you can see that I have already made one and this is the second one I will make to show it to you. Now, making pillowcases is the simplest, easiest thing and all you need to do is first you open your fabric, your half yard of fabric and then you fold the top you fold the top about one inch and then after that you're going to fold about four inch so first one inch just a tiny little and then about four inches about two to four inches depending on how wide the top stitch you want it to be and now I'm just going to gather my fabric and kind of put a crease on it so I know where to stitch um, now at this time if you have an iron you can just iron it so you know where your creases are I'm just going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to stitch just basic hem stitch this is just turning to the side and doing a basic hem stitch and this is something you can do it in the machine or you can do it by hand stitch depending on what you prefer i like hand stitch because i could just talk or do something or just watch something and then hand stitch unless i have to stitch on a machine I just like hand stitching so the top one inch it will just give simple hem and be sure that your hem on the outer side is smaller not too big inside could be bigger but outer side should be smaller now I'm going to fold it to about three to four inches I just eyeball it now also ironing would be really great option before you start stitching because then you know where to do it so have your really warm iron hot iron ready and then iron it out and then stitch it pin it if that helps and after we stitch the top then we're going to stitch the side the bottom and the side and bottom and the side you can run under your machine or hand stitch whatever you prefer so the after you stitch your sides and the bottom you can just flip it over and be sure to stitch the top the four inches to a hand stitch and you have yourself a pillowcase which took barely any time to make it about five to ten minutes at the most and if you have an iron and a machine i would say it will take five minutes to make a pillowcase and it's a really really good relaxing kind of like meditative thing you can just sit and relax and make beautiful pillowcases 
just turn the other side after you stitch and then give it a nice good press a nice good press press it out and just really give it a nice good press and that will take care of all the little creases so as you see it just barely took any time and here I have two beautiful pillowcases now you can be a little crafty and once you stitch your four inches on the top give a hem then you can put a nice little trim all around you know stitch that one too and then just be a little bit creative so thank you so much hi this is the second pillowcase i made and this pillowcase i have fabric glitter glue and this the letters are made with felt and the a pillowcase is made with cotton fabric and this fabric is again half a yard of fabric and you can use a contrasting color felt and and the pillow is 44 inch on lengthwise and 30 inch width and I have used uh, about three inches double folded on the top so you give two folds on the top and give a simple running stitch on the machine or a hand stitch and I give hem hand stitch and I made felt letters and I joined the letters to the pillowcase and I'm going to do a small one just to show you how I did it now this is just a smaller fabric it is one fourth of a yard and I have used one I think I have used two fells to cut out the letters. If you write a small letters, then you need one. But if you write big letters, then you need two. And first you decorate and cut out the felt. And then you stitch the top. And I did give about two inches double fold here. So I'm going to do the same for both the sides. So once you fold the top, leave it just like that because you have to do the fell letters because you need to stitch them so it will be much easier to stitch this way. And once you finish stitching and decorating, then you can stitch the sides. I'm going to do a hem on the side of the pillowcase now here I fold it two inches and I'm doing a hem and this you could do a running stitch or you could run your machine in it it depends on you I did hand stitch because it's just something I like stitching by hand I don't know why for some reason I love hand stitching it comes me a lot so here just a basic hem and just be sure that you twist your needle so it gives a very good looking design and when you pick up the fabric make sure you're picking up very little so the outside the stitches look small so our goal is to make the stitches look normal size inside but outside look very small stitches I'm going to do the whole side with the hand stitch now with the hand stitch it's going to take a little bit time so you can do it while watching the telly or something and once you are used to it you don't need to look so much so you can stitch it while reading something as well 
and you can pin it so make sure your stitches are in the right place and your fabric doesn't move so this is a very simple stitch just simple hem and that's it I'm going to just put a knot at the end so the stitches do not open up and just a final closing knot and that's it now I'm going to cut it I'm done with this now we will do the same for the other side as well 2 inches double fold and now the time comes for the letters so I made the L sign you can write the letters with your chalk marker and then you can cut it out so I'm going to put here love and you can make like this and give it gift for Christmas or any occasion Mother's Day Christmas to your friend to your family member or just make it for your kids anything so in the center I'm going to write this love with the felt and the sides some decoration and the decorations is going to be with the glitter dimensional fabric paint so when you stitch the letters you can use hem now I'm going to use if uh, if you do big letters you need to use two felt because each felt will cut out one letter but if you write a small letter then you can use only one felt for this four letters L-O-V-E so whenever you're going to write the letters make it such a way that um, it's just kind of like two letters at the same time so you can cut it and it becomes a little bit wide so it's the way right to write the L O V E now the E right day like this and double make it double so you could cut it and it'll be a little bit wide. So there is your L O V E. You can write anything you wish. I'm just showing you the L O V E because that's what I put on my pillow and now I'm going to first I stitch in the middle so it doesn't move you can add some pins so that letters do not move it's up to you you can add pin you can just stitch a little bit in the center and then continue with your tiny little hem stitch all around the reason I say tiny little hem stitch because tiny little hem stitch are invisible plus they hold tight so they secure the fabric so the middle stitch I'm giving is just to hold the fabric the felt in place so now I can peacefully stitch the sides without worrying about the felt losing its place you can do the same with pins now i'm going to stitch the sides the sides you give very tiny little hem and this hem just to hold the two of this fabric together now you can give twice or you know if you have a machine you can give zigzag stick rolling it you can do that too but 
Then again, I prefer just hand stitch and give tiny little little hand stitch because they work good. They really hold it tight. And if you give two times, it's just very sturdy. Now, when you give your stitches, don't make them too tight because if you make them too tight, they will get like wrinkly. So just be careful. Just give enough tension but not too much tension. It's better to do it twice than giving too much tension at one time. And just go straight and then bend your needle and go from the side and just give a nice hem stitch and I cover my stitches with, with glitter dimensional fabric paint and it does two job holding the two fabric together plus covering the stitches So we'll just bend it and come out from the front and go from the side and give very tiny little stitches and go again for the second time to secure it in place properly. I'm going to tie a final knot. So that's how you stitch a letter made out of felt and you can do the same thing for t-shirt too if you're making a t-shirt and you want to make letters from the name and stitch it in the t-shirt you can do the same so now i have to join the e and here i couldn't do it straight because this pillowcase made with a small fabric now I'm going to do the design in the side, so I'm going to give one inch gap and just draw two lines and then between the two lines I created a design from my imagination. This can do anything, these are just lying S's, these S's are lying down. So do all around four side and then fill them in with glitter dimensional fabric paint. You can put any sort of design you wish or you can put any letters or write something. Anything that you wish you can do it. I use the glitter paint so it doesn't wash off. So I'm going to draw this and then put the paint. So be sure to stitch all your letters ahead of time and then do the drawing and then put the paint at the same time. But be sure not to add, not to join the entire pillow as the sides because when we put the paint we need to put a bed sit underneath so the two sides don't get joined together that's the one thing you have to remember so you have to avoid not to get the two sides joined together so we have to keep the two sides separate once we do the decoration and we need to keep like two hours for the paint to dry and once the paint is dried then we're going to be stitching just to put the sides and we're done with the pillowcase so cut out the fabric first after that you cut out your felt for the letters after that you add your felt for the letters 
they knew to the design and they knew be sure to put a fabric at the bottom and then you decorate the felt and the design with glitter dimensional fabric paint or any kind of glittery paint which is meant to be for fabric and I use the tool uh, empty paint container so now I'm going to use my paint to decorate it with the glitter paint now be sure to put a white fabric underneath and also be sure to allow two hours for this to dry because it needs about two hours to dry otherwise it will become messy so you don't want to make it messy and you want the design to come out right so allow two hours to dry without disturbing once you do the design you cannot move it you have to leave it in the place for two hours so i'm just gonna eyeball it and do the design since i didn't measure or anything i just draw it from my imagination and gave distance also imagination I'm sure the distance are not perfect but this is what it is and be sure to fill in the gaps if there's any gaps and now I have to do the letters and then if you spray it little bit with a brass and then it won't come out if you leave it like um, thick one then they usually peel off so you take your brass and spread it around so there is no chances of peeling off later it just gets mixed in nicely and it makes the letters little bit design or letters little bit wide as well so we want to make it little bit of wide so we take a brass and widen up the design you can put any design or other letters or like Disney characters whatever you wish now I'm going to put some rhinestone in here but the front of the faces so just gonna that I needed five of them five rhinestone so just use it at the beginning of all of these S's So you have to let it dry and before you can just do like this because it might make it too sticky. you need to just stitch the two sides and then after your decoration dried then all you do is just stitch the two sides and you're done so you just stitch it just simple stitch in the machine or hand stitch just plain running stitch and you're done with your pillowcase So you take your needle and thread and just join the sides so this is what we're going to be doing to the other pillow 
the one I just did the design and I have to wait for two hours for the design to dry so I'm showing you in this pillow and I'm making my stitch sturdy too so I'm stitching for the second time just to show you and remember you can put this in the machine too if you have a machine you can just stitch it in the machine I'm just showing you in the hand but you don't need to do it in the hand you do it in the machine if you have a machine So all you do is, this is just a running stitch, basic running stitch, just give running stitch to the sides and that's it. Continue till the end. So you do both, once you do both the sides, you have yourself a nice pillowcase. So you see the pillowcase is done and it's very very easy as design and the letters and decoration and it's just very simple. Um, okay. And this pillowcase i have washed it hand washed it and dried it as well and this this is how i'm going to paint the side so the stitches will not sew so I'm going to put a little bit of paint and the sides of the stitches so it will cover the cover the stitches. So I'll go very lightly to the side of the stitches and it'll cover the stitches. So just go to it very very light. And it's just just to cover the stitches and give it a nice golden design in the sides so you can go and do this with all the letters and then finish up the design and let it dry for two to three hours so this is this is our pillowcase thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and i will see you with many 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 more creations hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you may god bless you all